Hey, what's going on? It's Tan, like the color. Here with a mini review of the Alpha by Mio. Now, this is a watch here that finished on Kickstarter recently. Um, about a month now has passed since they sent out the watches to their donators and their supporters. Um, the Alpha on Kickstarter website advertises that it is the world's first strapless continuous heart rate watch that is EKG accurate on the wrist up to 20 kilometers per hour. Now that's uh, that's saying a lot, you know. There's been a lot of watches out there, but you gotta hold, you know, put your finger on it, things like that. What the watch does is it shines a light through your hand, or through your wrist, should I say, like so, and it works kind of like pulse ox, um, you know, and reads the the color or something. I don't know the crazy technology that they put into this, um, but yeah, I gotta say it's it's been working really well for me. I've used it about four times a week. Um, Liz and their crew has done a great job with this watch, uh, making it really streamlined, all the dots and everything. You have to wear it pretty tight, but that's fine. You know, you'll get used to it. And um, there's um, the pros that I like about it is that, you know, being that it's it doesn't require a chest strap, that's really convenient for people. Um, you know, wearing a chest, chest strap is not very convenient. I had a chest strap. And um, one of the things with chest straps is that you really have to you have to get kind of moisture on it before you can actually connect to your watch and that's really unfortunate because you know you can't really get those those readings right off the bat you know you have to actually work out work out a sweat a little bit first before the watch will connect and give you readings accurate readings and things like that so one of the nice things is right off the bat the Mio Alpha it it gives you you know your heart rate which is pretty cool um, other things that are nice about it is that it automatically discovers and pairs really easily with um, the iPhone 4S and the iPhone 5. Um, today is what, the February 21st, 2013. So if there's other phones out there in the future, I don't know if they pair or not. You can try asking in comments later on. I'll try testing it. But um, unfortunately, it doesn't connect very well with all the Android phones that are out there that support, you know, Bluetooth Smart. Um, that's what the version that I have. They also come in Anta version as well. Um, the bad thing is that, you know, um, the website the, for the Bluetooth actually says that certain Android phones support uh, Bluetooth Smart. However, the actual program itself needs to be designed, I guess, to connect to the actual watch. And none of the Android ones actually do that, like Runtastic or Endomondo. So unfortunately, you can't connect those right now. Hopefully in the future, maybe that will, you know, be supported. Now, that's not really necessarily on... Um, on Mio's um, fault that that doesn't work. It's just designing issues with the phones and things. So I can't really knock that against them since it does connect. Um, but it, re it does connect really easily. Uh, now some cons, let's move on to the cons now of the watch. Some issues that I have with the watch is that as the strength, strength training uh, that I've been doing, uh, I have to actually, um, for myself, my personal issues, I actually have an ICD installed in my chest, which will shock me uh, to bring me back to life if I get above 200 beats per minute. So I really need to know, you know, my heart rate at all times. And when I'm strength training, uh, say I'm doing a lot of push-ups or something that constricts, you know, a certain muscle or something, uh, it doesn't seem to accurately track uh, my heart rate. Like, it'll just go down to 60 beats per minute on the watch, but I know I'm up in, like, the 130s, 140s. So I'm not sure exactly what's going on with that. It might just be because it's constricting the muscle or something. But so, but if I wait, like, a minute, it'll, it'll start tracking it again. Um, that doesn't happen at all when I'm running, just mainly when I'm doing some strength training or anything like that. So kind of a little issue, I guess. I guess you can't always get your heart rate at all times. But, um... Let's see, any other cons I can think of? I can't really think of anything else, you know. Uh, it does get sweaty, like right in here, but you can always rinse that off. You know, that's something that just, because it's so tight and everything and you're generating sweat. But uh, yeah, aside from that, I gotta give the meal a pretty good review. I'm pretty happy with my purchase. And I uh, hope you guys can get one soon too. Not exactly sure when they're gonna be releasing this bad boy. But I got the uh, the shadow version. It also comes in Arctic, which is like a white style, I guess, in the middle here. And, uh, you know, there goes the Alpha Meal. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. And be sure to subscribe for more videos. This is Tan. Peace and out. Adios.
I can't find the button to stop recording. <laughs> there it goes.